Hello, Dawn Moore. Today, I want to answer a question that I receive often in this market of increasing home prices. What are the ramifications for a seller who simply decides he doesn't want to sell? And what can a buyer do about it? First, it is important to remind everyone that contracts are binding and enforceable. As long as all the contingencies under the contract are met or waived, then the parties must perform their obligations under the contract. Failure to perform means that the non-performing party is in default of the contract. Provided a buyer has performed on all of his obligations under the contract and is ready, willing, and able to close the transaction, which means that the buyer has all his money in place, down payment and loan, has met all of the lender requirements, and is ready to sign all the necessary closing documents, then seller's refusal to sign at closing means that the seller is in default of the contract. Paragraph 15 of our contract sets forth the remedies allowed to the buyer for seller's default. The buyer can either sue the seller for damages or can sue for specific performance under the contract. Contrary to what many people hear, suit for specific performance as against a seller is not impossible. This is particularly true if the sales proceeds are sufficient to pay all the debt that the seller has as against the property, and closing costs, including commission. It's more difficult to sue for specific performance against a buyer because if the buyer simply does not have the money to close, you can't squeeze blood out of a turnip, so to speak. When a buyer is faced with a seller who is threatening to default under the contract, I advise the buyer to write a letter to the seller stating that he or she is ready, willing, and able to close the transaction pursuant to the terms of the contract, and that he or she expects the seller to abide by the terms of the contract as well. I then also advise the buyer to perform under that contract to the extent possible, meaning to show up at the title company with check in hand and be prepared to sign whatever documents the title company has available to perform under that contract. This tender of performance by the buyer will put the buyer in a better position to be able to sue the seller for specific performance. Many times I have found sellers after receiving such a letter will go ahead and perform under the contract. They understand that the obligations of the contract bind them to perform under the contract, and when they realize that the buyer is unwilling to free them from such an obligation, they decide to perform rather than face the ramifications. Hope this answers a question you may have had. If this has been helpful to you, please let me know. And if I may be of further help in future videos, please shoot me an email. Allegiance Title is your resource for results. Thank you.